so we're here at Coconut Oil Mozambique near Inyamban, and what we're looking at here is a project to put money in the hands of farmers who didn't have a way to get their coconuts to market. One of the pleasures of working here is that there's also a lot of indigenous trees in this area that you can make oil from, like marula and mafura, and this helps preserve some of the indigenous forests. You see the landscape that's around us is pretty desolate, but within it is this one lonely little tree uh, of mafura. Right now we're in the season that it's blooming, and you can see the bloom here, and you can also see the fruit starting to form. Now what's really interesting about it is it makes fantastic bee fodder. Uh, the bees really like it and obviously that gives you your honey. They help in the pollination. Um, the tree is a, is a key species uh, in the survival of the forest type that used to be here. So if we get the first tree, which is this one as the pioneer, uh, and its other lipid, which is marula, um, to be looked after, then we can gradually build up the other trees. You can really bring your forest back. Um, the value of the forest, what we're discovering, is that if we collect these seeds, and you can see this particular tree is absolutely covered in flowers and seeds, uh, you can earn more money out of it than you can by growing a few rows of cassava. Uh, what's interesting about where we've just been and looking at the oils factory is that we're able to press those seeds and produce an extremely high quality oil. We're using it for making lip balm, body butter. Uh, we also have a furniture craft industry here and it makes spectacularly good furniture polish and leather care products. You're able to generate money, you're also able to generate the secondary industries. So there's somebody who gets a job pressing oil, there's somebody who gets a job making the containers for the lip balm or the body butter, there's somebody who gets a job dispatching that stuff, there's somebody who gets a job mixing all the stuff in a factory. Uh, all of those things put together really become a very, very powerful incentive to get people to uh, return to some of their traditional roots in a manner which is socially sustainable because it respects its traditions as well as economically sustainable because it makes some serious money and best of all it's environmentally sustainable because you're actually looking after and able to restore a forest uh, which is what people here have always traditionally lived on. Yeah, you have to use your, 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 your strength to, to push out the oil, but it's not so difficult. Before the factory was planted here, I think the people was uh, having the uh, difficulty of carrying coconuts because shortage of transport, you see. It was very difficult for them to go to the main road there with the coconuts to get the transport to Mashish. At the moment, people die happy because the factory is nearby them. Everyone is winning. The factory is winning. The people outside are winning. 